Hidden Fate's shiny Charizard hype is higher than ever. So today we're gonna to be talking about if you're in the market for one of those, why you absolutely should not buy one as we compare it to the OG shining Charizard from Neo Destiny. This is Pokemart. What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle and welcome to Pokemart, our series where we take a look at the Pokemon TCG secondary market. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Shiny Charizard and comparing it to the Neo Destiny Shining Charizard. But before we get to that, let's go through just the Hidden Fates top cards on TCG Player just to see where things are currently at. Looks like Shiny Charizard is about the same lowest price at 400. I believe that's the same as last time. Umbreon still at 70, which is very impressive. Then we got the rest of the evolutions, Espeon, Sylveon, followed by Lele. Let's just take a look at Umbreon, very, very high. So we, when we filter for near mint, actually the cheapest thing as of, as of filming this is $78. That is, I don't know, I feel like not too long ago though, for like 20. Uh, one interesting thing about Hidden Fates is we've been talking about a lot about how the ETVs have been going for like $200. Reminder, this was a $50 product, and if you picked it up for pre-order from like Game Nerds or something, I think it was like $37. Uh, so fast forward, what has it been like almost a year at this point, and they're going for like $200, and now I want to focus on the promo. Uh, a while back, we did an episode of Pokemon. I think at the time, it was a $6 card, which is why I was so confused about why anyone would pick up the ETB for a super high price. And the birds is basically follow that same trend, which totally makes sense. And uh, at, yesterday, I looked at this, and actually, it was completely sold out on TCG Player. And as of right now, uh, there's only one listing. So let's get rid of this near mint qualifier. And all right, so there's like four of them on TCG player. Actually, hmm. Okay, so as of the filming, Frontline has one copy for like $17. Maybe that's worth picking up. Uh, I imagine these will quickly get gobbled up and um, and kind of like floating around, maybe like a $30 price point. Uh, the reason why is when we go to eBay and take a look at sold listings, actually no, maybe the 18 is about right. You see some being sold for 20. Uh, we'll ignore the, actually no, just so FYI, PSA 10. These are all sold listings, by the way. PSA 10, $120. Um, but yeah, for raw copies, looks like 20 to 30. We have a 35, but these are sealed ones, which is interesting. Uh, so. It makes sense. You can't uh, you can't reseal it. So if you do have a sealed copy, you could probably sell it for thirty to forty dollars. Uh, so very interesting. You know, a reminder again, the box itself cost fifty uh, when it did come out, and now just the card inside without the ten packs is going for about thirty. All right, but yeah, hidden fates Charizard still four hundred. I believe this is where it was when we last saw it. Let's go to eBay. We're just going to look at sold listings. And uh, it's kind of confusing because you kind of have to read each individual one. This is Japanese. Um, all right, so PSA 10 plus some other cards. I'm guessing this is Charmeleon and Charmander, so it's not exactly the best data point. Uh, pack Fresh, 500 best accepted offer. Uh, $1,200. I feel like this is a new high for this card. That is so crazy. And we're going to focus like kind of like on this listing, on this new price point. $1,200 for a PSA 10 Hidden Fates, Shiny Charizard. We're gonna come back to that. Uh, more raw copies for probably probably about 500. Again, TCG Play has them for like four, 400. And uh, let's see, was this? A nine for best offer accepted from 700. What was it a couple months ago? <laughs> that was the price for the 10. So like the price has doubled in the past few months. And uh, what we have here, these shares are PSA 10. Uh, so just zeroing and the 10. All right, we already saw these data points. Sealed. Hidden Fates, very strange times. All right, these boxes, I believe you could only pick them at Walmart for $20. All right, two can go for 60. Heck, it's, what was that, 50% increase? And um, yeah, these guys doubled price, 110. Although it's shipped, so it's kind of a annoying box to ship, pretty big. And here we go, the ETBs have around that $200 mark. What is going on? That is quadruple the original price. Uh, all right, so let's go to PokemonPrice.com. Super useful website. It gives you some historical, or it gives you eBay historical. I believe it just scrapes eBay. It gives you a like maybe like a week old stale pop report from PSA, and we talk about this a lot. But the pop report for the Hidden Fates Shiny Charizard PSA 10, 1,000 copies, 309s, and look at this. Look at this chart. 
So yeah, the hype is real in the beginning and then it levels off uh, kind of like what I thought would be its resting place around that $500 mark that we were just talking about not too long ago. And then all this hype happens and we're actually starting to exceed uh, some of the prices that were initially had, which I'm not sure if this has ever happened. So strange. And uh, actually, I'm not sure there's really anything we need to look here. Let's just take a look at, drop a lot of these other ones and zoom in a little bit. So yeah, still climbing uh, as we get into June and starting to reach new highs in the thousands for the PSA 10. Okay, so now let's compare it to Neo Destiny, the sh Shining Charizard, as it was called. Now this is one of those cards, uh, this was back when they did have the first edition stamp, so we're going to just look at two different pages. Uh, but, alright, wait, let me go back to here. Pop report, 1,000 and counting. I'm sure this is going to keep going higher and higher. Shining Charizard, PSA 10, only 260 and 400 nines. And we're, we're going to look at all these because all these numbers are relevant. 677, PSA 7, 100, PSA 8, 200. And now let's look at the price. So like the tens are super high, but uh, actually first takeaway is let's take a look at the, you know, more recently, how has the prices been spiking? And all right, let's, this is probably pretty good. So from October, 2018, we kind of go. And then as we get towards when things started happening around March, yes, a huge spike. And uh, so it's kind of like following the similar trend. And remember that $1,200 Charizard, like, all right, what, what should I pick up? Should I potentially pick up a PSA 9 Neo Destiny Charizard or should I pick up a PSA 10 Hidden Fates Shiny Charizard? I feel like this is a no brainer because, all right, do I want a one of 418, which is, I don't know, maybe I'll never get to 500 or do I pick up the one one of 1,000 and who knows maybe in six months from now it'll be one of 1,500 and so when those are kind of going for very similar prices you know I feel like yes the hype is super real right now but I very much uh, do not recommend picking one up if you do have one and you do want to sell it I don't blame anyone that does want to sell theirs uh, but don't pick it up um, if you can still find tins I think it's it's fun to crack on to chase one. All right, let's take a look at first edition. Now, this is a card that I uh, I do not have one. I do have a couple unlimiteds, and uh, yeah, the pop, pop report gets really low. Uh, less than 210s, less than 189s, and then no triple digits after that. Uh, let's take a look at the sales. All right, in May, sold for 8,000, wow. Uh, all right, so let's see, what can, actually these are 20, all right, so this is pretty stale data. All right, I guess we have one from June. That's still already 19. Let's let's enable the sevens. Okay, so kind of like pretty recently, uh, late May. All right, so PSA seven, first edition Shining Charizard versus a PSA ten Hidden Face Charizard uh, for about about the same price. Um, all right, what was this? What was it seven? Right. Okay, do I want a 1 of 30 card or again, the 1 of 1,000 and counting? So I feel like the, you know, it's a no-brainer to me as far as which one is a better pickup. Um, just, you know, how rare is the card actually? I just feel like it's, there's so much um, new demand, but I just don't think it's good a good pickup. I don't see how this could not drop off at some point. All right, last thing we're gonna look at is the more recent stuff sold on eBay. So we just heard search for Shining Charizard PSA Neo Destiny. Let's see what we find. Uh, so yeah, first edition's eight. Oh my gosh, over 2,000. Uh, I feel like my window of opportunity to pick up one of these is most likely long gone, unless I wanna go all the way down to, I don't know, like a six or something, six or seven, uh, eight and eight and a half. Uh, let's find a unlimited okay unlimited nine seventeen hundred dollars best accepted offer uh i'm tens they're they're super rare i'm gonna ignore the tens like i i can understand why this board is such a high price and probably one we'll never pick up uh but yeah the nine fifteen hundred and maybe you know what was this best offer accepted maybe it was around the 1200 but uh okay so 
But once again, comparing it to the Hidden Fates, all right, do I pick up that one of over a thousand versus one of, what was this? 400. Uh, to me, it's a no-brainer. Uh, even if this one was sold for a little bit more, let's say, I don't know, 1400 uh, So with $200 more, um, I would just go with the older one. Uh, So I hope this helps anyone that feels like, oh, you know, I really want this card. I think I'm going to pick up the 10 and so I'm looking for one, but the prices are so high. If I, please don't pull the trigger. Um, if anything, look to something, for example, like this or look for a base or something like that, base set. Uh, so that's going to be our topic today. I kind of want to do more frequent Pokemarts and kind of have very specific topics kind of like this and just zero in on it and then we can talk about it for some period of time. Uh, and if you have any suggestions for future episodes, let me know in a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Juan Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.